Welcome to Tech Learners and Java Tutorial. To learn any language, it is important to know the basic terminology of the language. For example, if you want to learn English language and write sentences in the language, we must know nouns, pronouns, adverbs, verbs and adjectives of the English language. Similarly, to write a program into the Java language, it is important to know about the tokens in the Java language. So today we will talk about all the available tokens into the Java language and I'll show you all tokens in one single program of the Java. So let's see what are the tokens. Java tokens are the smallest individual unit of a program. Uh, these tokens have been categorized into these five categories uh, naming from one keyword then identifiers, literals, punctuators and operators. So we will see all of these one by one and uh, I'll show you all these tokens uh, through one Java program. So let's talk about keywords first. Uh, keywords basically are the uh, special words that convey some special meaning to the language compiler. These are the reserved words for some special purpose and they cannot be used as identifiers. Uh, in total, there are 50 keywords provided by the Java language. For example, class, int, abstract, while, for, native and etc. I have created a separate video for all these tokens uh, for the keywords for the identifiers, literals, punctuators and operators. I have created a separate video for all these tokens. One video dedicated to one token. So you can go and watch my videos based on these tokens. If you want to know in detail about keywords, so just watch my video on Java keywords. I have incorporated all those 50 keywords in one single program and I have explained each keyword in detail the purpose of the keyword how you can use them and where you should use them in your program identifiers let's talk about identifiers these are the fundamental building blocks and names given to different parts of the programs uh, for example if you create a variable then you will give the name to the variable and that name will identify the variable so that is why it is known as identifier so the names given to the objects, name given to the uh, classes, name given to the functions, arrays, etc. So to anything, if you are giving a name, that will be known as identifier because it will be used to identify that particular thing. For example, a, a name given to a variable, some name given to a variable, uh, underscore fee, a name given to a variable, num1. So these are all the names that we can give to the variables. Next category is the literal category. Uh, these are the fixed values that we provide to those variables. So these can be assigned to variables or they can be passed to some functions. So these are categorized as integer literal. So whenever we provide some value to integer variable that also have to be the integer literal. For example, any integer value 101, 50. Similarly, we have floating literals. So the values that are provided to uh, floating or double variables, double data type variables. So like 201.12f or 202.34d. Then comes the Boolean literals. These are uh, two only. So true and false. So these are two Boolean literals that can be used with the Boolean variables. Character literals uh, which are enclosed into the single quotes, for example, uh, A in single quotes and then X uh, or uh, any number that can be enclosed in uh, single quotes, this will behave as a character, not as a number or any special uh, character that can also be uh, named as escape sequences. Next is the string literal, uh, the literals uh, which are the combination of characters or the multiple characters together like uh, the str or tech learners these are enclosed into the double quotes so these will be string uh, literals these will be assigned to string variables and lastly this is a null literal the next category is the punctuators or separators these are the sky characters used as uh, separators or punctuators there are total nine punctuators provided by the java language 
the curly brackets opening and closing the big brackets opening and closing uh, small brackets opening and closing the curly brackets uh, used to separate some block of the program these big brackets were be used with the uh, arrays and small brackets normally used with the methods or functions then comma uh, dot operator and used to access the methods inside an object and then semicolon basically the uh, terminator we use this semicolon the end of each statement so we'll see the use of all these uh, literals uh, in a program uh, before that let's talk about the operators so operators are the symbols that initiate an action and normally are used with the variables so there are total 37 uh, operators or symbols that are used as operators and these are categorized into uh, nine categories i have made uh, the separate video for the operators as well so you can go and uh, watch that video to understand operators in detail so the arithmetic operators like plus minus uh, multiply divide then the increment decrement operators or uh, relational operators less than greater than uh, double equal to it is the comparison operator not equal to then logical operators uh, for example not operator or uh, or operator and not operator then we have this uh, shift operator so the shift operators so this is the shift operators uh, double less than then we have a uh, bitwise operators and or uh, operators assignment and short end operators like uh, equal to or plus equal to we have a uh, other operators also i have just shown a few examples of these uh, operators now conditional operators uh, this is a conditional operator and in the category of other operators we have this big brackets new and instance of now let me show you uh, a java program a simple java program that uh, will contain these tokens and uh, let me show you that how important these tokens are because in a very simple even in a very simple and short java program you will be using all categories of the tokens so this is a very basic program uh, a program to add uh, two integer numbers and print the resultant value uh, you can see i have created a class with the name java tokens inside that class i have made the main function inside the main function i have uh, initiated variables first number and second number and uh, i have uh, assigned some values to those integer variables and then uh, i have added these two numbers and finally using the system dot 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 print ln i have just printed the uh, resultant sum so let's see this is a very simple program now let's uh, talk about each thing into this program that what we call so let's start with this uh, public so this is public is a keyword so this public is a keyword uh, remember the keywords are used for some specific purposes so this is an access specifier the class is a, a keyword it is used to declare a class then this java tokens this is a name given to this class so remember the names given to something are known as identifiers because this uh, java tokens this is a name this will identify the class then the bracket obviously the punctuators uh, we have talked about the public then static is again a keyword which is known as a modifier then void is a return data type that's again a keyword then this is a main so main is the name given to the function so this function is uh, identified by its name that is main so main will be identifier 
now this is a bracket uh, punctuator then this these are the punctuators and this is string string is the name of the class created by the java so uh, again this is uh, identifying a class name given to a class so this is identifier now args this is identifying an array so this is a name given to the array so this is again identifier so these are the punctuators now let's talk about this int int is a data type it is used to declare integer variables so this has some specific purpose so this is a keyword now i have initialized three variables and i have given these three variables different names sum i have given this uh, first number and then i have given this second number so these are the three names given to variables so all these three one sum first number and second number are identifiers and you can see that these are separated by commas so these commas are punctuators or separators and lastly the statement is terminated by the semicolon so this is again a punctuator or this is a separator uh, next is uh, i have assigned the value to this variable and i have assigned 56 so for the assignment for the action i have used this operator this is assignment operator yes this is the uh, fifth category of the tokens that is operator so this is an assignment operator now uh, 56 this is the value i have assigned to the variable and remember the values or the data we assign to variables are known as literals yes so this is an literal this is a literal uh, what type of literal this is because we are assigning this to an integer variable so this is an integer literal right so this is literal semicolon punctuator uh, the second number name of the variable identifier equal to we have already talked about this is uh, the assignment operator this is uh, another literal the value assigned to the second number semicolon we have already talked about so uh, next is a uh, sum we know equal to we know this is operator uh, this is and now let's talk about this thing this is plus so this is an operator because it is a uh, operating uh, operating on these two variables on first number and on second number so it is performing some action so this is plus an operator it comes under the category of the arithmetic operator and lastly this is punctuator now this is a system what is system this is a name of the class yes this is name given to a class so this is identifier next is out this is object so name given to the object this is again identifier what is println this is a function name given to a function this is identifier and in this we have these dots these are punctuators now this is a bracket again punctuators now this is uh, the value enclosed in double quotes that is a string value so this is literal what type of literal this is this is string literal now this is plus concatenation operator yes you are right this is again operator and finally this is a variable and these are all punctuators so we can see uh, all the uh, tokens are used into this simple program so we have uh, all the tokens like we have uh, keywords we this is keyword we have identifier then we have literal and then we have operator and we have punctuators so you can see uh, even a small program contains all the tokens so it is important in any program to understand what are the tokens